uh, Michael Woodley, I'm an Indian buddy, and I'm representing Jalolo Group Aboriginal Corporation. The Ngunda, it symbolizes a, a storytelling that only we, the Ijibundi people, know. We're teaching the next generation that, you know, if you want to do the Ngunda properly, then this is the time you need to invest in it. So it was an opportunity to go out and show the next generation as well in terms of how you got in the country and which wood do you collect to make, to make the janji, the dancing sticks, and how you make the gundu as well. So you go there first and you ask permission from the country that we want to take these, these pieces of you know, wood or, or bark from your country to, to make these, these artifacts to put on a gundu and then you, you, you take the time to make those things, and you make it properly, you know, and then the finishing touch, obviously, for it is to put on, put on the ngunda. You've got to feel comfortable in your, in your wirwa as well, in your spirit, that you find the right location. We ask the spirits and the old people where you want us to have this, have this ngunda, and they pointed us to that spot. Well, the, the songs start off with the song, first and foremost, and and how the song came about is that connection from, you know, the elder and the dreaming and the spirit world. And what that does, it, it, it continued to strengthen the connection between the old people in the country. And the old people take that story and that knowledge and pass it on to the next generation. It connects them to the story in the country as well. The ones that we performed was dances and songs belonged to my great-grandfather, you know, my grandma's grandfather. And you know we're going back generations and generations, right? But he was he was an old fellow that they named him Bambardo. Bambardo in the Ijibani language means the blind one. But he would be taken off on these journeys by the spirits, and they would open his eyes. The first thing they do is open his eyes so he can see, you know. So we see all of these events and the songs that the spirits are giving him. The tapping of the boomerang is the is the instrument that you know make make all of that ngunda works, you know. So the movement. You know, the storytelling, the body language, all of that stuff is, is really driven by, you know, the weather. That's the instrument that Mengala gave us. Well, it's got to be white paint, you know, which is a yarna. And all of those paints symbolizes each, each different element of our country. Symbolizes water, symbolizes wind, symbolizes, you know, rain, symbolizes sun. Because all of that stuff is connected to the Ijibundi. The Ngara and the Ngora are the same. There's, there's no separation to who we are. When we dance and when we, when we do the body paint, we bring all of those features that makes the Ngora also make the Ngara. There's people in the crowd sitting down that they are drawn to it, they're very proud of it. It's emotional, you know, but it's also serious. The spirits are listening, the trees are listening, the birds are listening, the hills are listening, the wind. Just that whole body of, of Ngara spirit is who you're performing to. And if the spirits were giving us a different message, then we wouldn't have, you know, we wouldn't have put it on. But we wanted to make it right, you know. Um, and it felt right as well, you know. Uh, so, so it ended up being a success, I think. Everything about our, our culture has been passed down orally and verbally. And what all people have, have learned is to be placing or making a mark or making a painting or making a, an artwork similar to what the old people did on the, on the rocks, you know. What you see now in the contemporary sense is, is the same of what happened years ago. But, I mean, not in the, in the same style, but for the same, for the same reasons, you know. It's about passing on that story, you know, passing on what the old people saw and wanting the next generation to see it. They're the type of things I think that you know it, uh, you need to be celebrated because it's 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 what symbolizes who First Nations people are and what type of you know artifacts and that we've that we made you know that went hand in hand with our survival. <laughs> <laughs>